you know what I want you to do? I want you to experience this moment. When it comes to trading, right, you get your good days, you get your bad days, you get your good weeks and your bad weeks. You don't know when you're gonna, when you jump on the charts, how many setups you're gonna get or how many of those setups are gonna be a winner or losers. And you also have to remember that even though I make YouTube videos and even though, you know, I teach people, you have to remember that I am a trader. And for me, this week has just been phenomenal with my personal trading. I'm not one to brag about how much money I've made because at the end of the day, results speak for themselves. If you're a good trader, the money's gonna come. But pretty much every single one of my trades hit take profit, except for one, which was kind of unlucky because I took a trade and before I even got a chance, it hit my take profit or hit my level where I was gonna set my take profit. And then by the time I'd set my take take profit and stop loss, it pretty much reversed then and hit my stop loss. Uh, but every other trade hit take profit. Now I've literally spent, today is a Friday by the way, you're watching this video on a Monday. I've spent the afternoon in a pub. I've actually, uh, I've stole a bottle of champagne out of my partner's, uh, well I say partner's, out of our wine fridge. Uh, and she said she's going to save this for a special moment. But I feel this is a special moment because she will appreciate it at the end of the month when I make my uh, withdrawal. But yeah, I mean, the BD members had a huge success. I've had a huge success. So I wanted to go over some of the good setups that I've took this week. Uh, and one of them was a sell on NZUSD. And you know what? If we go over to the Telegram group, I want to give my hats off to a BD member that actually called this setup. And you know what, couldn't thank him anymore. Literally posted this setup, I'm like, you know what, that's a perfect setup, I'm jumping on that. Uh, so first of all, let's jump on the actual setup. So this is NZ or NZUSD, 15 minute time frame, and we have a beautiful, I mean, textbook. I mean, this was perfect setup. So we had this nice, uh, like I said, right, Mo you know, we're trading the Mogwai strategy. So Mogwai strategy is MACD overbought or sold, Mogwai signal, TCA line, we go for a trade, right? MACD overbought or sold. So let me bring up my charts here, right? And what we have here is off the 15 minute charts, we have the MACD overbought or sold, we have a Mogwai signal, TCA line's gone over sold. Okay, TCA line's turned red, price is below the TCA line. And not only that, on the 15 minute time frame, we now have a nice area of support and resistance. Okay, textbook trade, you, you know, you couldn't go wrong with that. If we actually have a look at the 15 minute, uh, actually have a look at the higher time frames now on NZUSD. So uh, let's have a look at NZUSD on trading view on the higher time frame. So let's have a look at the, uh, let me make myself a little bit smaller so you can see. Okay, uh, as you can see, I probably had a little bit too much to drink, but you know what? I don't really care because I've had a good week. Uh, so let's look at the one hour charts, right? Let's have a look at what NZD was telling us, right? Check this setup here, right? Hold on, here we go here, okay? Watch this, right? And you know me, I'm a trend trader. Keep it simple, trade with the trend. I'm not a trader that likes to spend hours marking up my charts and really going in depth on why market is moving. I basically trade the Mogwai strategy, the binary destroyer with the trend, right? So if you're gonna get trades with the trend, it's gonna be doing what? Creating lower lows and lower highs, right? It's gonna be breaking structure. So this is NZD on the one hour charts, right? And if we just mark up my charts here, right? Keep it simple. Uh, we've got an area of here, and probably uh, here we go here. This was the actual setup just here. Uh, and we'll actually got another area just here. Hold on, just here as well. There we go there. Okay, so let's keep an eye on NZUSD one hour charts, right? Price comes down, creates a lower low, right? Okay, so what's that? Downtrend. What we're gonna get next? Pullback, okay, we get a pullback. Where does it pull back to? This area here. If we actually just mark up this area of support here, this area of resistance, see how they've got this nice area just here, see that? Okay, so that's probably better where I've marked up my uh, support and resistance. So there you go there. Price pulls back up. Then it kind of comes back down. Okay, that's nice. Okay, you know, you would have made nice little, uh, nice little trade with the trend. Price kind of chops around for a bit. And then we get this move here. What's this one here? Again, it's a new low. It's a lower low, right? It's lower than this one. Okay, so we're now going back into a downtrend. So what's the next move? Lower high, right? Okay, this is where we got that Mogwai signal. This of the 15 minute time frame is exactly this setup here. So 
hats off to the BD member that called this setup. I was like, oh my God, I literally within 10 minutes, I jumped into this trade and it just dropped. That was trade number one. I'll actually, I'll show you here just to prove, okay. Uh, these were all the setups I took. You see here, look, uh, AUD Chef, I'll break that down in a minute. Um, trade number 13, GPUSD, I'll explain that in a minute. Also, I wanna show you some results on the BD members. Here you go here, quick scalp on GPCAD, woke up, TP hit on this beautiful, this particular member made about 30, 1,300 pound just in one trade. Um, again, this is another setup that I took, NZUSD. So this was that NZUSD trade. Okay, look at that. I, I, honestly, that was textbook. It, on a, I, I hats off to that BD member. I think I actually showed a before and after on this one. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, no, I, I can't. Okay, um, again, uh, Andy here made a nice little bit of profit. I keep going. Oh, this was, uh, no, this was, uh, here we go, NZUSD. That was the before and after. See that? Beautiful textbook trade. Um, I'll show you this one here from another BD member. Oh, was that NZUSD? Oh, that was USD CAD. Again, another beautiful sell on USD CAD. Honestly, it was just back to back for me this week. It was insane. Um, no way to be stripping down to the bone. This particular member had an awesome trading week. Look at these, beautiful. And you know what I like about this one is every single trade is not stacked. It's every individual trade you know he's got a trade on nzusd chef jpy euro jpy euro usd gp jpy gp usd nz jpy every single one of them are individual trades and that's what i like because that's consistent rather than just stacking the trades they're taking consistent trades um again nice little sell on andy i'll find you one more trade okay with the bd and then we can rock and roll here we go here D done for the day Another 2,600 euros. Again, here you go here. GP, AUD, and strategy straight into the money, 25 pips. So let's go over my two setups that I wanted to talk about. The second one was a, let's have a look on here. Uh, here we go here. Last trade, let's go over the last trade that I took. Sell on GPUSD. Okay, so this was GPUSD, one hour time frame, and that was the sell there. Again, Honestly, textbook trade. Look, it literally hit my take profit within like 30 minutes. Okay, let's break down that setup here. Okay, so let's load up the binary destroyer here. Okay, GPUSD gave me that beautiful textbook sell on NZUSD. So this is that sell just here at the top here. Okay, so again, binary destroyer, Mogwai strategy, five minute time frame, GPUSD, MACD overbought or sold, Mogwai signal, TCA line turned red, you know the score. Right, is this a trade with the trend? Is it not? Let's have a look. So let's look at GPNZ, GPUSD now on uh, trading view. So let's have a look at the higher time frame. This here, and I explained to this with the BD members, was perfect. And just to prove to that point here, and I explained to this to the BD members literally about 10 minutes ago, I was like, mate, this one like handed to us on a plate. This could not be any more simpler. Look at this, right? Look. This is GPUSD, and I said to the BD members, look, lower lows and lower highs. I mean, that trade could not have been any more simpler to read. I know traders try and, try and overcomplicate it, but it doesn't need to be. Let me explain to you what happened on GPUSD. First of all, we got the Mogwai strategy, so you know, let's discard that. We already know we got a Mogwai signal. Let's look at the uh, higher time frame on this one, right? So let's look at the one hour time frame. And same again, let's mark up mark our area of support and resistance. So we've got a nice bit of structure here, uh, just there. We've got, oh, ooh, ooh, I can make this, uh, we're trading view, you can, oh, there, ooh, that looks better, doesn't it? Uh, and then we'll mark up this area just here, right? Watch this, okay, same again. So we've got our uptrend like this here. Hold on, we've got our uptrend like that here. Then we come back down and create a lower high. We pull back, what do you think the next move is? A lower low, right? Then what do you think the next move is? Oh yeah, a lower high. Then what do you think the next move is? A lower low, which is there. Oh, wait, okay, well we're creating lower lows and lower highs, What then? what's the next move is gonna be? A lower high, which is just there. This is exactly where that five minute Mogwai signal appeared. And look what happened, it just literally dropped. Couldn't be any more simpler, right? I know I keep banging on about it in my YouTube videos, but lower low, lower high, lower low. Price follows structure, right? If price is in an uptrend, it's gonna break structure to the upside. If it's in a downtrend, it's gonna break structure to the downside, right? So here, it's breaking, look, look here, right? It's broken this support, it's broken this support, 
it's creating lower lows, it's breaking structure to the downside. And just to kind of show you, this is the next structure. See that? It, it just went straight through it. It literally just crashed straight through it. That is just how much price fell. Now, my last and final trade, I mean, we could literally sit here all day and I could tell you every single trade that I took, but, we, you know, we'd spend hours in this video. And you know what? I quite fancy want to enjoy the champagne. Uh, was AUD Chef, right? Look at this. Beautiful buy on AUD Chef. Couldn't be any more perfect, right? Honestly, it couldn't be any more perfect. Let, let me explain to you that one. AUD Chef, same again, right? Let's zoom out here. Uh, hold on a minute. Where's AUD Chef here? This one here. Textbook trade with the trend. So we've got this one here, which is against the trend. We've got these Mogwai signals here, which, okay, against the trend. And we have this one here, which is beautiful with the trend. If you actually zoom out on the one minute time frame, you can actually see that it's an uptrend, pull back, uptrend, can't you? Right? Kind of makes sense. Now, this is where I entered. I entered on this Mogwai signal, and you can actually see, uh, you can actually see that I had my stop loss a little bit loose on this one because uh, if we actually go here, you can see here, I had my stop loss, obviously on the five minute time frame, just quite big, but on the one minute, my stop loss was quite wide. Normally my stop losses are normally really tight. If you look at the, uh, if you look at the other stop losses that I've been taking, uh, let's look at, um, let's look at another one here. Let's look at, uh, uh, NZUSD, ignore that one. Let's look at, uh, da, da, da. here we go here. Let's look at AUD Chef. You can see how tight my stop loss is. Let me just show you this example here. So again, we know we've got a Mogwai signal, one minute time frame. Let's load up the binary destroyer now and let's look at NZ Chef on the higher time frame. So again, uh, no, NZ AUD Chef, that was it. Here we go here, right, again. Couldn't be any more simpler, right? Let me try and find you that setup. So we were off the five minute time frame. You know what, I didn't actually, oh, here we go, here. Here we go, here we go, here. There we go, there we go. Now it makes perfect sense, right? Again, let's focus on the structure, right? Let's focus on the structure here. Okay, so let's just sit here and we'll mark him up like this here. So let's mark up that area just there. In fact, that's probably the only mark, level I'm going to mark up. Well, you know what? Let's even mark up even further as well because we could have actually possibly got a re-enter and we could have got a re-enter at the top here. And this is kind of going over exactly what I said about price will break structure. Okay, so keep an eye on price, right? Price is going sideways. Nothing really is happening here. It's just going sideways, okay? Then we come down. I think, okay, great. Okay, we've got a possible break and retouch to the downside. So that would have been a nice little sell there. Okay, did we create a lower high on this one? What I mean by that is did price go lower than this point here? No, it literally just went about probably 30 pips down and then it went back up. Well, that tells me instantly that we haven't created a lower low, right? So we're not, we didn't go down, we went back up. So that tells me what? The momentum is strong. We're going into an uptrend. So what happens is we finally break that structure here and we create a new high. Well, come on, guys. If we've broken structure to the upside and it's created a higher high, what do you think the next move is? Of course, it's a pullback to this area of structure here. That's exactly where I bought it. Honestly, I sit there and, I, you know, I, I can't be any more simpler, right? It's just trend trading with the binary destroyer, right? And then look, watch what happens next is we then create a new high we then pull back. Well, what happens here? You buy, it creates a new high, it pulls back, what do you do? You buy, right? And then it gets better, just to finish it off, it gets better, right? Because look, price keeps going up and up and up, and then it comes all the way back down, right? It comes back down to this level just there, right? So that was what happened. Now, what do you think happens when price then comes down, right? Imagine this, it goes into an uptrend, pulls back, uptrend, pulls back, uptrend. What do you think the next move is when price comes down? Of course, a pullback. And that's what happens just here. Where does it pull back? Oh, to the next area of structure, right? Which happens to be just here. The exact same place on which you would have bought it to go up. You would have gone, oh, let's buy it to go up. And now it comes down and it pulls back up and it drops and it goes back up and it drops. That is it.
And that is why I've had an absolutely phenomenal week. Um, and you know what? I'm going to leave it there because I want to go enjoy some champagne. Um, I hope you have an incredible trading week. Like I said, today's Friday. You're watching this video on a Monday. So I'll probably be doing another video today for Thursday. But who knows? My name's Jamie Palmer. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, drop me an email. The Barney Destroyer at gmail.com. Thank you.